I still can't get over Lizzie messaging me. I, I'm like in tears. From finishing The Last of Us. In full tears. I'm trying to comprehend what just happened. I'm trying to understand. There's a million layers to all the complicated relationships. I'm trying to cope with the result. And I look at Discord and my mod Lizzie goes, we did it, Joel. <laughs> In all lowercase. Get you a mod like that. That bee was buff, must have been eating that Beyond Beef. Dude. I, I I know I didn't really talk about this because we the internet cut out when we were like kind of analyzing the game, but. Fuck. Um, they used a woman by the name. Why are you? You're on my team, okay? A woman named Colleen Fosh, a CrossFit professional CrossFit athlete. They used her as the body double for Abby. And she's obviously like a like a badass athlete, built as fuck and super athletic and whatever. I don't know how they discovered her because, like, picking someone from a the CrossFit athletic professional world it seems very like niche. But those are the most built people in in our like pop culture, like cross professional CrossFit athletes, like the, the one percenters of CrossFit athletes who do it on TV. Those are the ones that are the most built of any athlete, in, you know, in the public right now. Anyway, they modeled Abby after Colleen Fosh. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like the last of us went and picked this athlete and modeled their main character after this athlete, but not her face, her body, because they were focused on, that's what they needed the character to look like that physically because representation. And they wanted a fucking lead female character who is fucking built as shit and athletic because she was doing all sorts of crazy shit. She was strong. She was the Ellie's rival. And I mean, it's like you watch and you play that game and you, you can't help but like appreciate how they fucking went to that length to do that for not only for representation, but for straight up realism. Like they had this awesome. I mean, I just, I just love that. And it's like, I don't know. I didn't pay a lot of attention to the game when it released, to be honest, because I was like not paying attention to it. I hadn't played the first one, whatever, but I imagine there was a lot of hate and it's because the internet and the people who played the game simply couldn't expand their tiny minds to have a lead female character who was more built than they were and who was actually athletic enough looking to be doing the shit that they were doing on screen. And I fucking think it's so dope that they did that. I think it's so fucking cool that they went that extra mile and they built their story with that realism factor. Because I don't watch professional CrossFit, right? I don't know who Colleen Fosh is until I played the game, but I think that's exactly how that person should be utilized in that sense. And they three people that I know about built Abby. There was Jocelyn, the face model. There was Colleen, the body model. And then there was the voice actor and the actor, the, 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 the actual person who was on the stage. Three different people. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's fucking incredible. That's fucking incredible. And I'm gonna rant about it because I think it's fucking sick and dope. And if you're uncomfortable with strong, fit, built women being represented in, in major roles in major video games that top the charts over the games that you and your small mind play. I think that's fucking dope. I think it's fucking dope. And I hope that everybody who was involved in making that character a thing, all the way from the people who were acting, whether it's vocal, uh, facial or body, whatever, even the actor on stage, even the writers. I hope everyone who put any sort of effort towards making that character, how Abby turned out, are proud of themselves. And they understand that every little bit of backlash and every little bit of whiny baby complaining that they got should be echoes that they don't even hear because they're moving way past that complete nonsense uh, that our society likes to shout. That's it. All right, I, I, I made jokes about it because chat was thirsting over her arms in the game, as they should have. But holy shit, man. 
was it refreshing as fuck to see that character be a lead and look the, the look the way that she did and find out after the fact like i played the game thinking oh man pff, this person can do it all they can act they can you know they can look the way they look no they they literally morphed three human beings together to make that character possible and that should tell you how much they cared about making it how they wanted to make it and how it ended up being like abby was not an afterthought she was the opposite of an afterthought she was very calculated she was very very carefully constructed i think that's dope i'm gonna stop ranting about it because if i was a young woman growing up and i wanted to fucking lift weights and look the way that abby's character looks and I saw The Last of Us put her in the forefront of their game. I would feel so fucking validated in a society where all you get told is this, that, and the other fucking insult because you look some, some sort of way. Not to mention, my God, all the superhero movies where someone is tiny and unathletic looking and they're doing the most incredible shit. Abby looks like she should be doing all the shit that she's doing in the game. Everything that that character does is believable because she looks like she can fucking do it dude and i appreciate you guys agreeing with me but i'm literally not saying this stuff so that you could agree with me i'm saying it because i've been thinking it and i'm sorry i just <laughs> coming from an athletic background coming from a background where i met a lot of people both male and female who are focused on becoming the best best athletes that they can become seeing that representation just made me happy inside that's all that's all